everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the trig functions of any angle. All right, in this sketch right here, this point XY lies on the terminal side of this angle, rotate in standard position. And the definitions are as follows. R will equal the square root of X squared plus Y squared, because R will equal that distance from the origin to the point. Notice that's coming from Pythagorean theorem. Sine of theta will be defined as Y over R. Notice that's opposite of hypotenuse. Cosine theta, x over r, notice that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent theta being y over x, opposite over adjacent. Okay, and this is true for any angle. So this angle can be rotated into quadrant 2, quadrant 3, or quadrant 4. This being quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So let's get started. We'll start with an example. Let's say that the point negative 3, negative 4, lies on the terminal side of an angle all right, that's in standard position. And we need to evaluate the six trig functions. Well, we'll start with the sketch. We'll plot this point. I'll go negative 3, negative 4. All right. It's in quadrant 3. I'll sketch an angle in standard position. Here's the initial side. Rotates. Let's go through here. Right. Here's our angle theta, and we're going to evaluate the six trig functions of theta going through this point. Well, we know x and y. Everyone, that's is x. This is y. So we need r. So here we go. r equals the square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared, which equals the square root of 25, which equals 5. So, r is 5, x is negative 3, y is negative 4. Now we can evaluate these. Sine of theta will be y over r, negative 4 fifths. Cosine theta, negative 3 over 5. Tangent theta, y over x, negative 4 over negative 3. A negative divided by negative is a positive. So I'm going to write that as 4 thirds. How about the reciprocals? All right, 5 over negative 4. And you can just write that as negative 5 fourths if you want. 5 over negative 3. I'll do the same there. Negative 5 thirds. Cotangent theta is 3 fourths. Not too bad, huh? And notice this negative 3, negative 4. There's actually a triangle here, and you can still see that, all right, right here, that's a distance 3, that's a distance 4, this distance right here is 5. Okay? Now look at this. Notice tangent was positive. And tangent's reciprocal body, cotangent, was positive. But all the other trig functions were negative. I'm going to pick T here in quadrant 3. Okay? That's always true when the terminal side lies in quadrant 3. Now, if the terminal side lied in quadrant 1, all trig functions all right, will be positive. If it lied in quadrant 2, only sine and reciprocal body cosecant would be positive. The others would be negative. We just saw quadrant 3. In quadrant 4, cosine of theta would be positive. And reciprocal body secant of theta. Okay? So this is really helpful. Make sure you know this. Good phrase to help you remember this is all students take college algebra. Or you can say all students take calculus. So I'm going to put that down right here. Because that's very important. A, S, T, C for all the quadrants. And let's look at another problem. So I'll erase all this. Take this out. And I'll take this out. All right, first problem. Let's say you're told that sine of theta is negative. And tangent of theta is negative. And you've got to figure out what quadrant theta is in. Well, let's go through it. It can't be quadrant 1 because all the trig functions are positive. It can't be in quadrant 2 because sine is positive in quadrant 2, and it's negative here. It can't be in quadrant 3 because tangent's positive in quadrant 3, so it must be in quadrant 4. So in this case, theta would be in quadrant 4. It's terminal side lying in quadrant 4 as the angle's in standard position. 
Okay? Not too bad. Very important though. So one more. Let's say tangent of theta equals negative two thirds and sine of theta is positive. And we got to evaluate the six trig functions. All right? Sine of theta, cosine of theta, tangent of theta, etc. All right, first we've got to figure out what quadrant is this in. Okay? Quadrant one, well, all trig functions are positive there. It can't be there because tangent is negative. How about quadrant two? In quadrant two, sine is positive and reciprocal body cosecant, but all the other four are negative. So this must be in quadrant two. So let's sketch an angle in quadrant two. All right. Sketches help. All right, x-axis, y-axis. Let's see, you got a two and a three here. Remember, tangent's y over x. So, let's see, y, x. I'm gonna go three for x this way. I'm gonna go two for y up this way because this angle is lying in quadrant two. So there's this point, everyone, and I'll label that as three comma two. Which one of these is negative, though? Ah, when you plot a point in this quadrant two, notice the x is going to be negative, the y is positive. And that's why when you do tangent, it's coming out to be negative. All right, so here's the angle in standard position. Rotates, terminal side lies in quadrant two. And we're going to figure out what are the six trig functions of theta. All right. I'm ready to roll, except for one thing. Don't I need R? We have to find R? Okay, so let's go up here. Let's find R. What's R equal to? R equals the square root of x squared, which in this case, everyone notice this negative two-thirds was written in the middle, but we can see that actually the x value is the negative, so I'll go negative three squared plus y squared, and I get the square root of... 9 plus 4, 13. Square root of 13. So r is equal to the square root of 13. This distance from here to here is the square root of 13. Okay. So here we go. What's sine of theta? And remember, let me write these down so we, we don't forget. x is negative 3. y is that 2. r is the square root of 13. And so sine of theta will be y over r. 2 over to square root of 13. You can rationalize that, make it 2 squared of 13 over 13. Cosine of theta, negative 3 over to square root of 13. Tangent of theta is y over x, so I get the negative 2 thirds. And how about these? Just do the reciprocals. Square root of 13 over 2. Square root of 13 over negative 3. 3 over 2, negative. Okay? So notice, these four were negative, these two were positive. Quadrant 2, ASTC. All students take college algebra. That's it.